disappointed. I was told he might appear wearing the little Richard jacket. <laughs> eh? Yes. Your great uh, hero, which now you've acquired. I've now acquired that through my wife. It was uh, one of our wedding anniversaries a few months ago. And uh, she, uh, my idol when I was a kid was little Richard. And she knew that, so she found one of his old original stage jackets, 1956, and she got it for me for an anniversary present. And the thing, little Richard, the guy is huge. <laughs> this guy, I'm, I'm, I can use it as a tent in the garden. <laughs> I basically wear it on stage. I mean, he must have had like really little legs. And a big body. You know, and a big body, because yeah. the sleeves are down there on me. Do I saw think? him first in uh, 1963, I think it was. Uh, and I think it might have been at the Brixton Odeon. I don't know, somebody remember the tour. Everybody remembers everything these days. And uh, the Rolling Stones were opening up for him. It's the first time they ever saw him. And they weren't really very well known. There's about six kids rushed to the front, you know. That was their fan base at the time. Everybody was there for Little Richard. And I think Bo Diddley was on the, on the show and all that. And it was priceless. I'd never seen anything so rebellious in my life. Some guy yells out, Get your hair cut! <laughs> and Mick says, and I'll never forget these words, Well, I look like you. <laughs> I thought, oh my God, this is the future of music. <laughs> but was and sure it? enough. <laughs>